Hey guys, now you can follow me on Facebook. Just go to facebook.com slash ultramaximusreviews. <laughs>
Next up is another Ultra figure, and it's Grimlock. And I gotta say, I am digging the robot mode. I think that looks really cool. I like the missile racks on his shoulders. It looks just nasty. Definitely digging that. Very G1 looking, nice and bulky, but ugh. That dino mode, it's the head. The head is terrible. It looks like a cartoon alligator. I'm not digging that at all. Uh, maybe it'll look different once we get in the hand, but uh, yeah, that looks bad. Everything else on the dino mode looks pretty good, though. I like the missile racks in his knees there. I think that looks cool. Um, ooh, ooh, yeah, that head, that's, that's, that's not good. Um, if that looks that bad in hand, hopefully we get a third-party company that can fix it, because loving the uh, bot mode, but mm, what do you guys think about that uh, T-Rex mode? Let me know down below. Next up is an ultimate class figure, so leader class, and it's Megatron, and he turns into a tank. The robot's very G1, definitely digging that. Um, I like the tank. I like this all together. It looks pretty good. Um, it really reminds me of the Cyber Battalion Megatron. It just looks like a, a more complex version, maybe, of that. Um, again, a little cartoony, but that's what this is kind of going for, this series. And, uh, yeah, I don't mind this one at all. This is definitely one I'll pick up. Um, I like the cannon. It's just very big and beefy, and it says Megatron to me. And since we've got a Megatron, we've got to have an Ultimate Optimus Prime. And uh, this one looks pretty good, too. Um, the robot mode kind of reminds me of the uh, Transformers Prime Optimus. Um, I wish those uh, fenders on his arms would wrap up backwards away from the hands, make it look a little cleaner. Uh, that's about the only really gripe I've got on that uh, figure in the robot mode. I think that looks pretty good. Um, the truck kind of has a cross between a modern truck and a Cybertronian truck. Doesn't look too bad, but being an Ultimate Class figure, I would have preferred if he came with a trailer. I think that probably make that cab look a lot better. But overall, yeah, not too bad. I'm down with this one. And we've got the Ultimate Optimus Prime. We're going to have a Warrior Class as well, and, um... I like the truck mode a little bit better than the robot mode here. Um, the truck mode looks more like a truck, I think. Uh, I don't like the red pipes, though. That looks kind of bad. In fact, that really sets it off for me. If those were gray, I think that would have been perfectly fine in truck mode. Um, reminds me a little bit of Transformers Animated Optimus Prime in that mode. The robot, ooh, man, that looks very basic. That looks like a giant Legends figure to me. And um, again, this kind of reminds me a lot of the Cyber Battalion figures. Uh, very simplistic. So I don't know. I'm going to have to look at this one in hand to see if this is going to be worth anything to me or not. Um, but I'm going to say I think I'd get the ultimate over this figure. What do you guys think? And next up, we have another Warrior Class figure. It's Decepticon Shockwave. And I love the robot mode. Uh, this beefy, it looks like Shockwave. Reminds me a lot of the War for Cybertron Shockwave. Um, that alt mode, though, that is terrible. What is that? Um, I guess it's supposed to be some kind of a cannon, but it looks like the Scout uh, cassette from Soundwave. I don't know what that's going on there. Is it going to walk around? Um, I, I, that's bad. That's just goofy, goofy, bad. That looks like some weird fan mode to me. I don't know. What do you guys think? Robot, I love. And I'll pick it up just for that robot. But wow, that tank or cannon or whatever that is. That's just silliness. And from Shockwave, we move to Starscream. And this is the Warrior Class uh, figure. And to be honest, of all the Warrior Classes, I think this might be the best one. Um, I dig him. He looks pretty decent. He looks very G1. He's got the jet mode. He's got the null rays. I kind of wish the null rays were, um, you know, gray there instead of the blue. But 
overall, it doesn't look too bad. Um, again, it really reminds me of the Cyber Battalion stuff. Um, I Maybe we're going to get the Seekers uh, painted out of this. That would be definitely cool. Um, it's an easy repaint, and you can get them in you know waves three and four. I think that would be a lot of fun. But, yeah, um, to be honest, I think this is the best Warrior class that we've seen thus far. What are your thoughts? And this is the look at the Ultra Class Starscream. And this might be my favorite figure of the reveals. Um, I like this one a lot. I love those giant cannon engine things on his wings. Um, it looks like he's just loaded with Nerf guns, and that just looks like a lot of fun to me. Um, giant, these giant missiles uh, is what it kind of looks like, or giant engines, a combination of the two. Um, that just looks awesome. I love that, and I love, love the look in the robot mode. Um, this is definitely very cool. I will definitely be picking this one up. Um, again, I think this is my favorite one out of the whole reveal batch. What do you guys think of him? And finally, here are some scales with the figures. We have the Ultra Class Starscream, which is the Voyager class. That's the Scout Megatron. Uh, we got the Ultimate Optimus Prime there, which is a leader class. And then we've got the Warrior class Bumblebee right there, uh, which is the Warrior or Deluxe class of today. And um, yeah, the scales are right. I like the scales. I think they look good. Um, I like how Optimus, his chest, they got the chest reveal with the Matrix and all the glowy energy. That's pretty cool. I'm definitely digging that. What do you guys think of this uh, series? Are you going to pick any of these figures up? I'm definitely going to get some uh, for my collection and for the review channel. Um, I think some are stronger than others. I know a lot of fans are not going to like this line because it's very cartoonish. Um, but again, this is geared towards kids. Uh, keep that in mind. And uh, while some of the stuff is going to appeal to a large, uh, 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 you know, group of fans, um, it's going to get some people in. It's going to be about collecting with kids. You know, um, those scout figures are going to be for the kiddos. You know, I'm going to get one for myself, and then I'm going to get something out of the line for my kid. And I think that's really where they're going with this marketing. And that's okay. I don't mind that because we get the power of the primes that's geared for an older audience, uh, which is very cool too. So I'm definitely down for the line. I'm going to give them a chance. I wish the episodes were full half hours and not 11 minutes, but eh, it is what it is. You know, I didn't think I was going to like the Robots in Disguise uh, cartoon series. I hated it at first and got to like it. So I'm going to give this one a chance. Uh, what are your thoughts, comments? Uh, leave them down below. Jump over to my Facebook page. Join the conversation there. Like me over on Facebook. Share this video. And just one last thought. What figures are you missing out of this line? What figures do you want to see? Uh, I'd like to see a sound wave come out. Definitely interested to see the Windblade figure. I think a Jazz and a Sideswipe would be fun. Uh, maybe some other Dinobots. Uh, definitely need some more Decepticons, I think. Um, I don't know. What figures do you guys want to see come out of this line um, and see translated into this incarnation of the Transformers? Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, thumbs it up. If you hate this video, thumbs it down. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Don't forget to subscribe and share, like us on Facebook, and look for more videos in the future.